Uh, very good morning to you. Uh, welcome uh, back to Daybreak. It's Tuesday. And when it's Tuesday, you know, we, we try to talk about social issues. Today is a little bit of a, a sensitive topic because it's taboo in some quarters to talk about uh, such a thing. But we want to get as much information out there as possible and deal and go uh, deeper into it and see the ifs, buts, and maybes. Uh, around around that. So right here in studio, to kona non Cizi Agnes. Uh, uko salama. Kabisa. It is non Cizi and I who did not get the memo because yeah. the gentleman. It's a flower season. <laughs> it's flower season. Flowers. <laughs> For Shatter Boy, Shatter Boy is also with us up. Maybe his shirt uh, looking good. Yeah. Flower season. Flower boy. Yeah, man. Flower boy. <laughs> <laughs> and also. CJ, I can understand why CJ has flowers because Jota yesterday scored <laughs> and Liverpool won for the first time in a long time. So mm -hmm. he must be in a happy there goes, mood. There goes football again. He won the London Derby also. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A reason well, for the flowers. Okay, hold it. <laughs> Just hold today. Yeah. yeah. It is not about football today. And uh, on <laughs> Skype, we have uh, DNG Mwenyewe. DNG uh, also joins us in, via Skype. Right, okay, to jump ski up. DNG, Jerry Putana. Uko fresh like that. There you go. Tuko sour tena sana. And then we have. I'm to follow my new mutia mutia maze, mambia to the chin. Hola sana, lazima to fungue. And then we have uh, a lawyer with us, Lucian Ogana, and I'll tell you why. Because today we're talking about just like the last part, I think, of Sam's was about succession. Uh, but that was politics. So today it's about. You know, what plans have you made? It's taboo to talk about writing wills. Kama Muto Ayuko, advanced in age. And uh, what does the law say about it as well in terms of inheritance? So that's why we'll start with Lucian. Um, Lucian, what, what, uh, has, what advancements have there been in the law in terms of, say, for example, inheritance uh, in terms of male and male, the sons and daughters? Male and willis. Morning. Yeah, you can hear me? Yes, I can. Very well. So, yeah, it appears as sort of a taboo um, because, <laughs> well, many people have reason to believe that um, coming up with a will is a, is a foresight of your own death, yeah? Um, not many people are very comfortable with coming up with wills while they're still alive. But anyway, it is good that we have developed laws which um, govern the area of succession uh, inheritance so that um, we, do, we will not be able to have so many problems in regard to inheritance and, you know, claims of property and other further encumbrances, yeah? So the Kenyan legal system adopted um, the Law of Succession Act uh, as well as the Matrimonial Property Act, which govern largely issues dealing with succession, yeah? So every issue dealing with succession in modern day will be dealt with um, with this. Mostly it will be these two legal regimes so that um, the Law of Succession Act governs um, matters inheritance, governs matters of wills and other several matters, whereas the Matrimonial Property Act, and partly, okay, yeah, Matrimonial Property Act will govern matters of matrimonial property, and um, and uh, such such matters where there is need to refer to Matrimonial Property Act. So, these are the main legal regimes that we are using, and um, so far, I think they are serving well. All right, and uh, when we started, nonsense, all is about why? Yeah. Why do you think? You, can we normalize the conversation of writing wills? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. what's the point of accumulating wealth and mm -hmm. then leave people to fight for it because you've not stated who, what goes where? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. What is the point? Why should you sweat so much? And then after that, it's chaos. Even people will not enjoy the property that you have left because 
at the end of it all, Willis, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. at one point, and the funny thing is that people think that you should write bills when you're at over a certain age. My friend, who told you, who guaranteed you that you will reach that age? Mm. Even when you're young, the minute you know that you have people depending on you, the minute you have something here and there, and you want, and for me, it's because of peace purposes. And when I saw this topic, I was like, it's personal. Mm. Because I'm like, the minute there's no clear way. Let me tell you, the shambles, I don't know if people who go see what they've left behind, because I want to tell them, did you see? Did mm. you see what you did not sort out? For me, mm. it's for peaceful transition. Even people, when they are leaving government, there is a peaceful transition. Well. There's a way of... <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> Let's <not> sure. <laughs> but, yeah. but it's for peaceful purposes for mm -hmm. people who are left behind, mm -hmm. and people should not kill themselves because of property. Yeah. 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 Well, Shanta, what do you think about this? I'm interested to, to, <laughs> to hear your thoughts about <laughs> it as well. Uh, people will only fight if you didn't bring them up well. Mm. I think... <laughs> If but you is ask it because me, doesn't it? Let, let me tell you something. Money is a behavioral uh, change. It, it, even it, yo, listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. People will fight mm -hmm. if you didn't bring them up well. Mm -hmm. I that disagree. That is why they will fight. If you were well, actually wills are supposed to safeguard then non-disclosed family members. If you ask What me. do you mean? <laughs> Exactly that. We'll ask Lucian about what? that. I'm you, not you, sure you, you, that was the purpose of the spirit. Let me ask you something. <laughs> because every, most of the things we do are borrowed. Mm. Cindy, from different cultures. Mm. Originally in Africa. Mm. Be, before borrowing this mm. uh, will culture. Mm. Did our forefathers used to write wills? Why should we live like no, that? No, I'm, I'm asking. I don't know. Before we sure. borrowed the will writing culture, yeah, yes? They had the oral will. They, they, yeah. they used to call the elders, they used to call the elders, yeah. the clan the elders, and, and say this and this and this, this will happen. Yes. 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 That's the same way. And the people would, people would, would, respect would really respect what the this person says. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because then you had nothing to hide. Say, so, you have children out there that your wife does not know about. You want to safeguard these children. You have secret accounts. It is accounts. when you put them in that will. And you say, do not dispute this will. When you die, they, then they get to realize, oh, by the way, I have other kids. Oh, I have a co-wife. I, I have a co-husband. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. First of all, uh, <laughs> cool. Lucian, hold on, Lucian. Let me get to Lucian first. And ask. Lucian, uh, when, when you're talking yes. about the will, right, was it, is Shatter right in saying that <laughs> it was made to safeguard the non-disclosed <laughs> dependents? <laughs> no, really, it's what happens, yeah? Mm -hmm. If you write a will, when you die, mm -hmm. the contents of this will will be read to all family members, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, these kids who <laughs> the other ways may not know about, or maybe the other kids may not know about, mm -hmm. they will have to be known. Because if they are provided for in the will, then how that has to happen, they mm -hmm. will they'll have to be disclosed. And, um, what happens is that normally where, where they are not provided for in the will, uh, conflicts may arise, yeah? Mm -hmm. we, have, we have that captured and covered under uh, Section 26 of the Law of Success and Act, where dependents, the deceased who may not be, who may not feel that they have been covered in the will, but they have not been provided for well enough, may Contest. apply to the courts so that reasonable provisions may be made for them. So, in as much as there might be kids or wives who may not be known, um, they will still end up being known, especially if these conflicts arise and if such an application is made. But I don't think it does any harm. Now, this man is dead. <laughs> there's no problem. He right. does not suffer. Okay. All right. So, there's. It's shut up, Muskia. Either way, I, I, then, if you if your goal was to try to hide them, what are you not, not to hide them, to protect to them. protect them yes. from the so artists. Why because are they there? that will that will you give to your lawyer, yes? Yes. Your lawyer knows about those children. It's yes. only your family that does not know about them. Uh, but your lawyer knows about <laughs> them. Another thing. Hold on. Before one more question. Before I go to CJ and DNG, uh, Lucien, when when is the earliest that somebody can start writing a will After in you. terms of age? Now, in terms of age, um, only minors cannot write a will. That was oh. people under the age of 18 years. Okay. But anyone over there can write a will. Yeah, there's no, there's no limit to age. You can ah. write a will at any time. Okay. All right, cool. CJ, you have <laughs> what been, what's been talked about so far. What, what is your thinking about writing a will? Well, I, I think there, there are many factors. Um, sometimes 
there's the element of taboo, but I also think that... Taboo being discussing uh, death before? Yes, okay. which has been discussed already. Okay. But I think sometimes people also want to be sure about what they are doing. Because if you're writing a will, at the point that you're writing a will, um, there is what you assume to be whom the people you are bequeathing your wealth to are going to become. So maybe you've got this son or this daughter, they're 25, they look very responsible at that particular point. But then things can change within like 10 years or something. So some people take time, not because it is taboo, but they want to be sure. They want to be sure that all this wealth will be left in the hands of somebody who is steady. So they're trying to just look at their right progressive time. development. Uh, because you don't want to tie your hands very early. Right. Then later on you want to change it or um, keep on bringing other issues as well. Right. So I think there are many factors as to why people would either write it early right. or write it late. I think there's also the fact about holding, holding in trust, but we'll ask Lucien about that later. DNG, what do you think about the whole issue about uh, you know, writing a will? First, I don't know if you guys are aware that there's a bill eh, proposed by the Homer Bay MP, Bwana Kaluma. Peter, Peter Kaluma. Otieno Kaluma. Uh, and uh, this guy wants to bar mistresses Ponder, from inheriting property. Phenomenal mm -hmm. stuff. Because what has been happening, <laughs> Willis, is that you may have a will, man. You, you may have declared, but upon your demise, women from all over the continent, depending on how far and wide you stretch, <laughs> we even saw a guy who is like about 45 years or something like that, I think mid 40s, mid 50s, he came with his mom. Like a, with, like a cry baby saying, Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So you can leave a will, but the will can be contested. It can be contested by people you never expected. Maybe you even got a, a, one of your clients' page that she never told you. Or maybe she told you, Naoka, Puzo, Wana, 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 it's a guy who looks like you, but on national television. <laughs> Crazy, man. Um, Lucian, like uh, when you say that somebody can contest a will, right? So are, can a mistress, for example, say that at a mimi I, I'm supposed to be included in this will because, say, I have a dependent, like I have a child with so-and-so? Yeah, and that's, you can, mm -hmm. and that was what we were at about that is captured in section 26 yeah okay so because if there's a mistress who has a child with the deceased then this child is a dependent of the disease mm -hmm. that is true that's a fact yeah mm -hmm. so th there's a question though which arises in oh. case of um monogamous marriages mm -hmm. where where you might have another affair on the side but you you contracted a, a monogamous marriage, yeah? So this this child this child of, from this other marriage is also a dependent. Is mm. on a dependent. It has to be to be provided for. So that is like. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is uh, one of the reasons why people also don't want to write wills. They say. Because we've had them, I mean, we've seen it all across the, new, uh, the news. We don't have to name names. Families who've been fighting over and over yeah. again there in the news, land, property, all, this, all these things. Uh, there is an element where some parents feel that Nikiandika will, Nashata Jue, Yakwamba, Akona Do, Akona Shake, Akona, all these things. He will be very lazy. He won't even want to work. Lazy or you want to kill me? <laughs> Say if my my someone maybe my son would know that Nimekia will yangu ido yote na nami makuitumia ni kwa live aenda shikana mtu mugi na ukwa mchoche amuambi tu ondo mzai tu kulido why won't they do it you see but if your story akundi kaya will badu vile ni makuambi ya most wills today are being used to punish people. How You're so? writing a will, but because some of the people in your family fell out of favor with you, unapata hawako factored in your will. You see, say you have two wives, and you don't factor in your first wife. Probably maybe muliko sana. 
tunaandika tukuzu second wife because uko influenced you see you are under no obligation to be the person you were yesterday you can change today mm -hmm. so you might have written a will today and you want to change it tomorrow but you can't your family goes and de 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 declares you un mentally unfit <laughs> so you can't change that will <laughs> you wrote it That's <laughs> They, oh, haven't you seen it happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did happen to a very famous person. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they know what is in this will. But you have changed your mind. You've realized, actually, when I was writing this will, nilikuwa na emotions na feelings, nikaacha part of this family. Yeah, well, now I am back to my senses. I want to go change this will. This family knows what you want to go do. What do they do? They run to court. They say, this man is not mentally fit. Okay? So we go with the will. Ilali adika kitambu. So easy vitu zote ni probably kuna good intentions with it. But we, being humans, have found ways of turning it into a weapon against others. But why do people, uh, I mean, I know it's happening, there's uh, what probably in uh, Luciano would call presidents, what ku, ku, ku taka kumaliza mutu. Mm. Kwa it we, happens. But, so what should happen, what do you think in your view should happen or things in terms of the conversation that people should be having around it? Yeah. In terms of kutaka kumalizwa? No, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, najua ni kona hii property, najua ni kona hii person. Yeah. And I want that, in case anything should happen, they should be... Okay, by the time you are there writing a will, you already know your, your people. Let's, say, let's assume you kind of know, because family are called family because they are familiar with you, you know? And uh, because, which is better? Is it not writing and mm -hmm. leaving people to just figure their way out or just trying to study the situation and see what is gonna go where who is problematic who is not <laughs> and <laughs> and trying to sort out things when you can when you're there i feel like it's easier to do it before you go than now that you're god and you it's, it's totally out of your control you know so each and every family has dynamics but again i think i don't know why do i feel like also, maybe uh, children or people who are, yeah, yeah, you, your dependents. Well, your, your wife could, yeah, sure, that one. But children, sometimes we are, we, what is the word? Entitled. Entitled. Uh, My father has. I am, you know, I want. Let me tell you, like I said, anybody owes you nothing. If your father decides, by the way, they are disinheriting you, wh what will you do? Just, it's because, it again, also, the, the laziness bit can come away because, like, ah. See, I will be, and immediately he goes, you sell, and we have seen, we have seen those scenarios, especially in some parts of this country. <laughs> we have, I don't want to mention names, but we have seen the minute you, the father hits the bucket or the man and there's stuff selling, nini, and no responsibility at all. I think we need to change that. Teach people how to be responsible. Teach people how to take care, because it's no, it doesn't make sense. You look for all this, then you write a will, then you leave it to responsible children. If you don't teach them, because again, I don't know, do we see Indians fighting? I don't know. I'm just asking. Uh, not I've not, not heard a lot of. It's, it's rare. I don't know. Indians. So I feel like it's a matter of teaching people how to, and I'm looking for the word, to take care of property. Kurama, I do That one. I've gone wrong now. <laughs> yeah. CJ, what do you think about that, those conversations? Is it something that, because like you said, it should be from like when you're 18, basically, you can't start writing a will. Uh, yeah. But then, in terms of, Shata said, if you are well behaved or when brought up, you won't fight. What do you think about instilling in children and people <laughs> that kind of mentality? <laughs> you know, when, when Nonsezi talks about the Asian community, they've got this sense of mentorship from a very early age where you introduce these children into business, into yeah. the shops. Yeah. They begin to run and they learn. While they're doing that, they'll be shop stewards. They will be doing that over the holidays. Africans have a mystery to their wealth. <laughs> yeah, you never really get to know. Uh, and until probably when some of the people get to know when the person is dead. That's true. And they never were trained to be stewards mm. of whatever property they have. This is sometimes somebody will even be given one billion in a state, and in a short while, they still want to go for the other because they couldn't even manage this one. Mm. So to a great degree, yes, if the people are trained well, but that training well is also allowing them to understand the elements of stewardship, um, the conversations being had early. I think if it is possible, uh, the parents should be gathering the whole family and saying, look, we've got this and we've got to run it and uh, then just begin to point out to the people what you think are their strengths and their responsibilities 
what you feel each one of them can do, and then still try and put together that mind that this property is for all of you. You don't have to break it. You can grow it together. Um, because that, that element of you know somebody waking up today and realizing Willis was put in the wheel, I wasn't put in the mm. wheel, is also very crazy. And when people <laughs> are dealing with the emotions of the loss yeah. of somebody, yeah, they're then, also very emotive. Then they mm. realize they've been betrayed at that time. It's, it's too much to deal with. We need to demystify wealth in the African setup mm. at the risk of you know having children who want to eliminate you mm. but you see if you have those conversations more mm. they normalize it mm. in their minds uh, they get to know we've got some property this is ours uh, you will be working and earning on this um, at some point we will decide who gets what it may reduce some cases it doesn't but it may yeah uh, DNG what do you think about the whole thing of because we're Africa anyway uh, there are secret bank accounts, there are secret title deeds, there are secret properties <laughs> that you don't even know about. Why the secrecy? Secret children. I think uh, Africans have a problem, man. Somebody has mentioned, I think Monsi has mentioned about Indians. And this is not just to profile anybody, but uh, that community is awesome at training their uh, little kids from a very young age about business, about wealth and about management of the estate. If you walk into the prominent uh, Indian businesses, I, I don't want to mention them on TV, but you know, you'll find their sons are the ones who are handling the materials, yeah. the sons are the ones who are, you know, handling the accounts, the books, they know the operations. Even in the big, big empires, uh, like for me, I'm in corporate business. Some of the people I talk to, the MDs today and the, the senior level managers are the children of the founders. Um, those are the ones who make decisions. Like I walk into a, a big operation and um, there's a son who's like 28 is the MD. You know, the Indians have this kind of thing. In Africa, all we tell our children is you, end of zone. <laughs> end of zone. <laughs> and that's it, man. So the dad, you, uh, you have children who do not even know what their parents do. You know, nowadays kids <laughs> have things called career day. So the teacher asks you, what does your dad do? What does your mom do? They He's an Nairobi businessman. Like, <laughs> you know, uh, I remember when I was younger, some friends would tell me, my dad is a businessman. Businessman. What business? <laughs> you don't know, man. I love that in Muizi. Wash, wash. You see, this is a kind of uh, affair. You can see the big contrast between the two, uh, you know, ethnic groups between the Asians and the Africans. So that we have to change, and we have to change in this generation. We cannot do anything about that. But today, we must bring in our kids into the Biashara. We mm. must. Whenever, uh, for like for me, I have events, I, and, and it's a child-friendly event, I make sure my daughter is there. Because I'm doing something for a children's home in Kayoli. At a poor apple, I a shirt branded in uniform. We wake up Vizuri, you'll wait on Saturday, we're going to do charity. So that by the time she's of age, she already knows how to run an NGO. She knows how to do social impact. I think we have to work proactively so that you don't leave uh, so much property, you hustle, you make money, and immediately you're gone, it's like Nyara. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's trying to now. fight for it. <laughs> right. Um, Lucien, I also wanted to ask because CJ had uh, mentioned something here in terms of uh, sometimes they do not feel like maybe the child is responsible enough. So are there cases where the part of the estate is held in trust, say, by a lawyer? Uh, or I don't know, maybe I know it's also sometimes for until somebody becomes 18 years. But are there any other ways that the, you, if you're not sure Shata is a good son, <laughs> you tell the lawyer, OK, Ngoja Kwanza, <laughs> you manage part of this. <laughs> Uh, and then the rest. Is there a way that you can work around it by law? Okay, you know, matters of wills will be, you know, a will is a document that will, that is intended to to express the intentions of the deceased yeah, mm -hmm. in regard to the of his property. Mm -hmm. So, if if I don't think Shata is a good son. Mm -hmm. Not to him. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also something about ways, yeah, where you, you don't owe an apology or an explanation to anyone regarding 
how you have chosen to do it, to involve your world, yeah? Mm. So, most people who hold property in trust will, most commonly they will be people out. I'm not even, and so I'm not really to point with my children, but mostly that's what happened. Right. Uh, and the concept of my trust is to, to protect, protect this property and that to the beneficiary. And um, because a minor, a minor cannot benefit, yeah? Right. A minor, a minor will have to, to, to benefit once he acquires the end of maturity. So that's mostly what happens. When you, when you hold property in trust, you're holding it to protect someone and uh, protect the property so that you don't have to go into the injustice here. There's the thing where, where you die without having made a will, and so the rule of injustice applies. Most people will not prefer this rule because, um, for example, you may have to, the court might have to provide an administrator to devolve this bill, mm. and if he, if, Inside someone who does not have maybe what is says in his interest uh, in mind no? or at heart. So, mostly people will want to have a win so that um, they can get all these things to, to get their own personal representative to build the will. And um, the concept of holding in trust is basically to protect the property and the beneficiary. Um, there is no, there are no issues regarding this property. Mm -hmm. All right, because I see that uh, <laughs> some places in America, when I see a mutu, they have a kufa Wow! You know, but, uh, I wanted to just uh, probably key in this with him as well. Yes. Um, if you remember, uh, I hope you do. <laughs> in the alley, <laughs> there was a case, for example, of the late Essa Motieno, mm -hmm. and it was said he had written a will on where he wanted to be buried. Mm -hmm. And then there was what the family brought up as their culture, and they say our culture does not allow something like that. So uh, again, I'm just trying to see what happens when the will that you have written contrasts mm -hmm. the cultural culture. beliefs. Mm -hmm. uh, so here are these family members who are saying, "Look, we don't do that." in our community mm. and then they say cremate <laughs> but we yes. respect the dead <laughs> so what happens in that case Lucian if if the will say I want to be you know cremated and that's not what we do in our culture yeah uh, Willis yes back in the day back in the olden days yeah there were no laws governing such areas yeah so mm -hmm. you'd find that what would mostly apply are the cultural traditions yeah Mm -hmm. um, and past. So, the purpose of these laws, yeah, there were so many issues which were, which appeared to be difficult to solve because there was no definite way of solving them legally. So, part of the purpose of these laws that were introduced is to amalgamate all these customs so that um, they can be captured in one and there's a definite way of going about the issues, yeah. So, Matters of culture, if the deceased in his will stated that he would like to be cremated, uh, and according to your customs, you, you, you don't go about cremation, you only bury, um, then going against that will be going against the wishes of the deceased, and they know it's specifically. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 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 but in a situation that culture in a contradictory na, na katiba, mm. the law of the land takes supreme. Mm. The law is supreme. It is you will follow the yeah. constitution. Whatever the constitution says yeah. is what will happen. Mm. Whether you it is your culture or not, the constitution is the biggest culture. <laughs> you follow that one. <laughs> Also, there's, yes, yes, yes. there's something mm -hmm. uh, we were saying mm -hmm. before we got to the. To shut up being a bad fan. <laughs> so I know you, have, you want to talk about secret children. I uh, see uh, that. Okay, I'll tell you So, there's the issue of, and maybe uh, our lawyer can uh, add more to it. Um, they come, we stay. 
Mm. If you stay with a person for come we stay, eh? please, eh? Mm -hmm. then you die. Then mm -hmm. you have property. Mm -hmm. Probably, uh, can you write? Of, I know you have to be legally married so that can maybe he shed more light on that because if you're a come we stay person, you're mm -hmm. not gonna get nothing. Tombo side, you send to Tombo side, no sisi who end <laughs> Again, this is yes, um, that, yeah, because yeah, because then he probably would just add both because there's now the element of the baby mamas that keeps on coming. Yeah, right. okay. and um, some people feel that they become very entitled, they become very lazy mm. because they have children who are supposed to be dependents, and so they actually earn of being mothers, so they no longer work <laughs> because they're expecting that there's going to be a monthly stipend. Uh, and sometimes guys get frustrated over that. They feel like, look, I'm not married to you. I'm not obligated yeah. to you. I'm only supporting the, the child. child. But now you want to tell me to rent for you a house in Kilimani and then give you this amount of allowance and give you all of this, yet the child is not spending all of that money. Mm. <laughs> it's yeah. unrealistic. Yeah. yeah. So, when you are something else, Multaja, about Africans not teaching their children the ways yeah. into their wealth, I think that is an urban problem. I think that is an urban setting problem that my child won't know how I get my money because most probably the money that people have around here is illegally earned. <laughs> and that is why you can't teach your children illegal ways because if, you, if for example, I am a farmer, I, I live in the rural areas, my child goes to school around me. When they get out of school, they help me in my farm. You see? Say I, 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 I rear livestock. They will help me go get food for, they get, get medicine, do all this. You see, when they are growing up, they're seeing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And they're doing it with me. You see? But in the urban setting that I leave home and go to work, come back, Gion in Akoti, or anything, that is when they will not be exposed one to what two, I do. One or two V8. Exactly. In town. <laughs> or, or, or <laughs> a town. Exactly. On a holiday and everything. In town. In town. In town. It, it is an urban setting problem. Mm. If the, because uko uh, mashambani, si ongori, maybe ni mwalimu, koko na matoko wako. At least in all examples kama DNG, mm -hmm. that he said, he's in an urban setting, but yes. he had to make sure yeah. that mtoto wake anaona mm. exactly. where things are. Uh, so, yeah. so, 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 the number one thing is to identify the problem. Mm -hmm. So we have identified it is in the urban setting. Mm -hmm. Parents in urban settings, you need to step up. But Pia, oh, Joyce so Kia, mzee, ame pass uko rural mm -hmm. and he had so much land sasa watoto wanapigania yeah. it happens also before See? they even before they even sell it or before they even you know fight, fight. over it mm -hmm. these guys nowadays take loans on with the land with the land mm -hmm. like you'll find this old man waking up and realizing that creditors are coming mm -hmm. <laughs> in the rural areas because mm -hmm. these guys are not uh, fools anymore. Mm, yes. <laughs> You'll find they've taken loans everywhere. They're using the land as the collateral. Mm. Um, so somebody will be coming in and the creditors are coming for the property. You get that a lot with the old women and old men in the mm. rural areas as well. Mm. Yeah. So it's a big problem. Uh, DNG, I know you, you, you said you know, you're teaching uh, like your daughter you know, where the the where the money at as Lil Wayne would say where the money at <laughs> uh, so <laughs> so do you think in terms of even to move the conversation forward before we go back to the lawyer to answer some of the points that were raised um, what do you think ideally should be done because at least oh we have been okay now we are DNG na lawyer we me, we me press out <laughs> but me sour it's all good we me press but okay let's move the yeah. conversation forward here what do you think they should be done because there's also the element of what a daughter gets versus what a son gets. Is there a difference? <laughs> well, well, by there, law, there, there should be no difference. There should yes, be no difference. There has been a difference. There has been a there difference, been a difference yes. but according to the law, there should there be should a difference be. because all be. of them are children. If yes. you ask me, mm -hmm. the biggest problem we do is you should just share your wealth to Equal. your children. Equal. You see? Yes, to your children, not your sons or your daughters. All of them are your children. Just share Let your me tell you, Shata, to your children. That is a big problem. <laughs> me, I don't know who watches this show because there are people who need to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the minute a woman is told, you don't have sons, you only have daughters. You, as much as you're talking about it theoretically, mm. practically, qua ground, eh, mm. those elder people who are still left, they still feel like a daughter should not. Because in the conversation of she's getting married, because she will 
um, so inherit at the husbands or mm. uh, and then now why and even the sons some of the sons your brothers are the ones who fight you we have seen scenarios i know people who are going through through that where their mothers they've been they've been even literally kicked out of, of the land. Maybe even they got married or they, I mean, you have a child but you didn't get married so you're a single mother and, and, mm. and you're at your home and you've seen. So we need to normalize the fact that, and ladies, to be honest, sometimes they're better takers, okay, caretakers, okay, not caretakers, like the ones of the land, but mm. we take care, better care of property <laughs> than, than the men. So mm. it's a conversation. And is this proven? I'm saying maybe some maybe. Time. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. No, as squeezy mini merudi gumbaro, so you have to have facts. <laughs> <laughs> no blanket statements. Sometimes. Uh, okay, so we are told that DNG uh, and the lawyers, but DNG, what I was asking, um, we are trying to talk about how we can move the conversation forward um, before we go and finish up in terms of the questions that uh, the panelists had and some have seen also online. Uh, moving the conversation forward, what should happen? Uh, you have daughters as well, and we are talking about spreading the wealth equally <laughs> and teaching them about that equality from a young age what should be done to move this conversation forward in terms of writing a will and de <laughs> uh, as the government officers say declaring your wealth so uh before I, I just talk about that i think we're left at that point where we're asking whether can we stay relationships uh yes about the partner to inherit I, I do believe that uh, there was, it was said that if you live with somebody for more than uh, six months, that is your wife. And the, the lawyer can perhaps in a better position tell us if that is fact. But I, I, I have no problem uh, with that kind of arrangement. I think it's even better than uh, spending five million shillings on a wedding and then it collapses after two months. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Oh, no. uh, and you also find that those relationships where we mention them to for long, Pana, they are more successful. Mezoyana. Melewana, and uh, this, you know, if you're able now to rope in this person with your day-to-day -day activities, they understand what the property is all about, how to manage it, how it works, where it came from, and uh, how it's run, that this person can be able to now, you know, uh, take it over uh, upon your demise. And from a way forward perspective, I think it is to empower those in your life, be it your spouse, be it your children, uh, regarding what this wealth is. How do you make your money? What is your hustle? How does it work? Because sometimes you can have a big company, but if people do not understand the, the intricacies of operations, you know, where you source for your products or services, etc., then they may not be in a position to run it, even if you leave it to them. So the idea is that you need to train uh, the, the, the people in your life, that's your family, and I mean your immediate family, your spouse and children. Uh, and you need to be open with them, you need to be honest, and, and you also need to instill a value system. So the value system has to do with things like financial uh, discipline, management, hard work, ethics, integrity. Because for me, I'm, so, I'm always so disappointed whenever I hear that somebody passed on and immediately after they pass on, it's a fight, you know? And apart from that, people are always in a hurry to split. That's why we yeah. don't have empire. Mm. If you look at the at the United States, if you look at some of these big uh, uh, companies like uh, like like in Japan, in, in the Asia Pacific, these big brands that we are using, Toyota, I just don't want to mention them on TV, but you know, you, we all know them. Those are generational organizations. Somebody started a bank in 1895, and today it's the biggest bank in the continent of America. So think about that. Uku, Unafungwa Kaduka, Ukikufa, Stokyote, Imechukuliwa, Jokia Menda Nai, and for me, it pains me. Thank you, Vidal. Because some of our folks, or the, the, the people who came before us, have really worked hard. They've built like an empire, like a food processing company, like a hotel business, like a supermarket chain. Why should you now come in with your kiburi and split that? Because you yeah, <laughs> my man, the shock itself sometimes. <laughs> um uh Lucian, we're asking here basically, first of all, to yes. find, what does the law say about you know, if you've been staying with somebody and it's a like, come we stay, and then maybe you pass on and maybe you had this um this uh, empire, or you have some property, are, are they entitled to to it? 
And uh, come, you know, come, come we stay is not uh, a type of marriage that is recognized as in, in the laws of Kenya. Mm-hmm. So when we are, when, when I have a come we stay arrangement with someone, you are not entitled to my property. Yeah. Mm. Not of you. Uh, I think women in such are you know, the ones who the most ways, even when the wife is silent. But um, the truth is that you are not entitled. Yeah. There is a, a provision that says what the title where you have contributed to proving or enhancing the exist left. But this is in my opinion, that I that I don't know if I don't know. So come and see you're not entitled to 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 pay for the future. So Naenda Kwangaika. Alright, well we have to not provided for. Yes. It's a big one. But um, the concept of a will is very important because one of its advantages is that you can provide for anyone. Yeah. And like where you die without having made a will and rules of intestacy applies. The effect is um, rules of intestacy will only apply to blood relatives. Yeah. Only blood relatives can benefit from the from the wealth of the deceased but for for we uh the deceased can can provide can give a provision where he will amass wealth to he will devolve wealth to that come with the person and if he if he does so then it will have to be followed because those are his intentions and those are the, those are his wishes the law will always focus on satisfying the wishes of yeah, this is. Mm. All right, so we have some feedback as well here, uh, some tweets. So let's take a look at uh, what you are saying uh, as well. Kabisa, nile ile akukuja pole pole. All right, okay, Kelvin Mungai, kama unaweza kunaweka kwa 24, But Kelvin Mungai says, uh, what is the point of accumulating wealth if you are not going to say what goes where and to who? Very good point. Hope my <laughs> hope my old man is listening. Kelvin Arwira. In my family I'm last born in polygamy. But my late father left for us a will and we were three houses. Good fathers should include all children. All right. Kimani Kip. Some of our parents really worked hard for the world, and in case of some irresponsible character among the children, they choose not to disclose and unfortunately end up dying without writing a will. Sai Watoi ndio wana wanawa wazazi na stress. Okay. And then uh, Barnabas Mweu. It surprises me how many men will have their women as next of kin in their will, but the same women don't have their husbands as uh, next of kin. Next of kin. <laughs> yeah, no, no, sana. Because the women also have wealth. Like Hawachi, boy shout. And it is said that um, a lady's wealth can be uh, distributed everywhere else. Mm -hmm. See, like for the man, it is nearly automatic mm -hmm. that the wife would inherit that. But for the lady, even her family mm -hmm. uh, would get a portion. Mm -hmm. So it's not just the husband. It's mm -hmm. not automatic. Mm -hmm. Hers, even her family can get. So I think the will is a <laughs> leveling <laughs> ground. ground. So a, that, yeah. uh, because as Nonsinzi was saying, if you have that Kamiste arrangement, surely, Halafu mm -hmm. will press out. Mm -hmm. Definitely the people who are around you, especially if your family yep. or relatives do not appreciate that arrangement, yep. mm. they are definitely going to try to edge you out. So you yeah. have to be, com you have to write it down and say it goes to non -fans. But you need to know this. Yeah. At a Bible, in a Simaga, no one knows Harich. the time. Her reach, <laughs> not, not the, the hour. Mm. Yeah, the coming of Christ. Mm. So uh, uh, when it comes to death, Africa, no one knows when they are going to die, man. Unless you go to bed, you will see, and now you're being told, my guy, mm. this is what is happening. Mm. So, you will, unaza kuna jambia gabinte at this point. Una get, but you don't know. You wake up today and tomorrow you're not here. 
Sindio, you had a come with stay a relationship with your wife. Your family don't like her. Sindio, wana se magawu alko mekali andugu yetu. What do they do? They start chasing her away. I believe it is the constitution that is letting women down and people. It needs to be defined in the constitution that this is what happens in case you've been living with someone. We've seen in a court, court case in this country that a woman with children was told she was a visitor in that house. Oh, we are, we, we you, you saw the case? Aliambo wewe ulikuwa mgeni kwa hiyo nyumba. And yet akona watu ino wewe mse. Unaget, the constitution should not leave that to the discretion of, of, of people now to, to start I don't but, know what I'm translating it today and that he wore a shirt. To... He's become the defender of the ladies. <laughs> no, thank you, Shata. <laughs> this side is... Who can you call? Today he's speaking a lot of English and then he's... <laughs> T-shirt is usually the problem. This. <laughs> I told you before we started. Yes. The constitution should not leave it because it, it disadvantages the, the woman mo yeah. in most cases. You get, after the man, pia mwana ume takwa disadvantage in the sense that maybe the wife mdo alikuwa na iyo mali. Sindio, especially kwaza for a man, it is not debatable. Dema alikuwa na doku kuliko, alikuwa na ishi na ye, in case ayuko, familia kinao dema itakambia buda cheki. Oo likuwa hapo na saidi wa ishia. For the boy child, you can argue, kidogo ni kona watoyu wake, nini staff kuzwa, but utasumbuliwa. Now to avoid all this, the constitution needs to be clear on it. Just like they are clear with, if you kill someone, this is what happens to you. If you steal from me, this happens to you. But the two laws that Lucian mentioned are helping to create that clarity. But also, I feel like the minute you stay with someone for two, three, four years, please formalize things. If you really want me in your life, and if you really, what do you mean? Formalize the Make things formal, even go to the AG. Because the certificate is what oh, I used to claim. One more question also, uh, in terms of formalizing things, uh, Lucian, does it, does, uh, the, in terms of property, customary marriage, oh, yeah. where Mumenda to, I guess, Mumenda to, yeah. is that, is, is that is, yeah, in, Akubalika, in terms of the law? Pardon? In terms of formalizing? In terms of analyzing uh, if you can get part of the property, or if Oh, well, you said the will anybody and as Andika, but in case there is no will, what happens? And it was customary. Customary marriages are recognized under our laws. So okay. if, if this person dies without having written a will, rules of intestacy will apply. The, the blood relatives will benefit. I'm not sure I've answered your question. What about there's somebody who mentioned somewhere there that how oh, well, it was polygamous. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so and if both what if both are customary like in polygamous? How do we know the blood relatives? <laughs> the blood relatives are, are for, for us to determine the beneficiaries, we look at all these wives and all the children they have together. All of them are polygamous marriage are deemed to benefit. They are, they are bound to benefit because it's a polygamous marriage and like a monogamous one where um, the deceased had other arrangements outside the can we stay and all. Uh, uh, a polygamous marriage will, will have the kid even the second, third, and so I am not sure someone can have more than two wives, <laughs> but all of them will, will be bound to benefit. Okay. All right, well, I know there's so many other questions. I'm seeing so many people asking me questions online. Some are now texting me. This one we need, needs a continuation. Yeah, this one needs like a, um, a part two because there are a lot of, uh, you know, things that need to be to be covered. But so far, in terms of it, I'd like to say thank you. I think our, our time is up. I uh, would like to uh, end it there. Uh, but uh, I know everybody's hard like except Lucian, if guys want to get in contact with you, how can they reach you? Um, okay, my, so am I supposed to give my contact or what? <laughs> yeah, any way that they can reach you, whether it is email, whether it is Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, oh. office. My, my, my email address is uh, Luciano Gama, 11 at gmail.com uh, I'm also available on Twitter at Lucia Mugano uh, and the same for Facebook uh, um, I'm also, you can also reach me through Saroni and Stevens Advocates um, 
Yeah, I think that's the problem. All right. Probably the email, the email will be most, um, most appropriate. Okay. But really, it's maybe, maybe before I leave. Yes. A person will also notice, yeah, that all these issues. You see, we are saying that this is a very, a very wide topic, and it could take more time, yeah. So yes. all these and all these laws governing these things. A very smart person. The first, I think, the first and most important lesson you can learn from these things are that marriage can be tough. <laughs> yeah, yes. marriage can be tough, and probably only the tough people will last. But um, I think those are the laws that apply. It's a white topic. Okay. All right. Thank you so much uh, for the rest. DNG Kenya. Uh, uh, non Sizi Agnes or Agnes Non Sizi, depending on the platform you're in. Shata underscore boy or Shata Tiki, Tiki Taka. Yeah, Again, on different platforms and CJ Atemo across all platforms. If you have any more questions, comments, <laughs> views, uh, you can reach out to me as well at Willy Saburu if you need to get in touch to any one of them in case of Mr. Howe. And then even including Lucian to, to go hook up. But at the end of the day, like we said, I mean, it's half my name. So I am for it. Write your wheels, people. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 Please. <laughs> <laughs>